these days crossovers are commonplace and are found in many different formats, from comic books, to films, to live action TV shows, and are especially popular in Saturday morning cartoons. Over the years we've enjoyed some hilarious and sometimes unusual crossovers involving characters from different cartoons and even cartoons from different animation studios. Everybody has their favourite crossover, but we were wondering how it all started and what the first ever cartoon crossover was. Join us as we travel back in search of the very first cartoon crossover and also have a quick look at some other earlier notable examples. The origins of the cartoon crossover are murky and debatable. In the early years of animation we saw the inspiration for crossovers, including the comic strip character Little Jimmy, who had appeared in earlier silent cartoons, later appearing in the 1936 Betty Boop cartoon entitled Betty Boop and Little Jimmy, constituting a crossover of sorts. In 1970 Formation debuted two new series, The Sabrina the Teenage Witch Show, a spin-off from its popular Archie Show franchise, and The Groovy Ghoulies, a group of characters inspired by the universal classic monsters. The two shows would appear together on the same block under the title Sabrina and the Groovy Ghoulies and would feature both sets of characters regularly crossing over into each other's shows. Two years later, Hanna-Barbera followed up on their wildly successful Scooby-Doo Where Are You series with the new Scooby-Doo movies which premiered in September 1972. Aside from doubling the length of each episode, the new Scooby-Doo movies differed from its predecessor in the addition of a rotating special guest star. Each episode featured either real-world celebrities or well-known animated characters joining Mystery Inc. in solving mysteries. Characters from various other Hanna-Barbera shows appeared on the show during or after their own show's original runs. The first cartoon characters to appear in the new Scooby-Doo movies were Batman and Robin from the 1968 Formation series Batman with Robin the Boy Wonder. In the September 16th episode The Dynamic Scooby-Doo Affair, the second episode of the new Scooby-Doo movies, Mystery Inc. teams up with Batman and Robin to uncover a counterfeiting ring run by a strange hooded figure who has been sending counterfeit money to the Joker and the Penguin. This appearance of the dynamic duo in a Scooby-Doo cartoon would constitute the first true cartoon crossover, and has the double distinction of being the first and one of the only crossovers to involve two cartoon shows from two different animation studios. Olin Sol, Casey Kasim, Larry Storch and Ted Knight all reprised their roles as Batman, Robin, the Joker and the Penguin, respectively. Then, just one month later, the Groovy Ghoulies were responsible for another cartoon crossover, this time again involving cartoon characters not only from other shows but from other animation studios. Daffy Duck and Porky Pig Meet the Groovy Ghoulies was a one-off special that aired on the ABC Saturday Superstar movie on 16 December 1972. As the name suggests, the Formation produced special involved Daffy Duck, Porky Pig and other Looney Tune characters interacting with the Groovy Ghoulies. Aside from it being an unusual crossover, this movie is notable for being the one and only time that Warner Bros loaned out their famous Looney Tune characters to appear in a Filmation production. Despite it being unique and notable, Daffy Duck and Porky Pig meet the Groovy Ghoulies is hard to come by as it has never been officially released on home video due to various rights issues and, in addition, is also considered vastly inferior by many Looney Tunes fans because of its limited animation as well as a weak storyline. Nevertheless, the special endures as a collaboration of note between Warner Bros, Filmation, as well as Hanna-Barbera, thanks to an extensive use of Hanna-Barbera sound effects. The following decade saw a slew of imitations, too many to go into year, but a few notable exceptions include the cartoon All Stars to the Rescue, a 1990 anti-drugs TV special which featured a wide range of both American and non-American cartoon characters, and which was also the first time both Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck were voiced by someone other than Mel Blanc. The Jetsons Meet the Flintstones was a critical success and spurred the cartoon crossover concept even further in its own right, and who could forget the 1988 feature-length live-action animation hybrid Who Framed Roger Rabbit. The film boasted an all-star cast of virtually every relevant cartoon character at the time, 
with only a few notable absences like Tom and Jerry, Popeye, and Casper the Friendly Ghost. Even so, Who Framed Roger Rabbit left us with some memorable crossovers, including the famous scene with Mickey Mouse and Bugs Bunny, the first and only time the iconic duo have ever appeared together on screen. Well, there you have it folks, the story of how the cartoon crossover came to be. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this video, give us a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already, and also let us know about some other crossovers that you remember from your favourite cartoons. Thank you for watching and until next time, stay tuned.